Hey guys, Tim here. So today's video is going to be a little different. Today I'm going to be talking about the new RTX 3050 that just was announced by NVIDIA. So if you guys haven't heard, NVIDIA is releasing the RTX 3050 for the price of $249 at launch. Now this is just what the Founders Edition card is going to be. That's what their MSRP is going to be. This video is going to be pretty brief because, you know, it's a little frustrating to hear NVIDIA releasing another graphics card when they can't fulfill the current cards that they have on the market. You know, people are still unable to get 3080s, 3090s at MSRP. A lot of these cards are being bought at scalp prices. The only real chance you have is either entering a queue for EVGA, for entering a new egg shuffle, or going to Micro Center and just getting lucky that they have them. Now, these cards have also increased in price significantly because, you know, there is a global chip shortage going on. There are supply chain issues. There's a lot of issues that are driving the cards to go up in price and for cards not to be available to rep gamers readily. Also, you have to think about the different uh, scalping and also the different cryptocurrency farms that are being created. Now, I recently watched a video from Greg Salazar where he talked about the GPUs that are being sold on eBay for 10 tens of thousands of dollars because they're including it in their crypto farms. You know, they're paying cards for $3,500 a pop for, you know, 3070, which is just mind blowing to me that they would allow that to happen. But, you know, cards are being sucked up by scalpers, by crypto miners, and it's just it not allowing for gamers to have the cards themselves. So, so the card's supposed to release on January 27th for $250. Now, I understand that they're trying to give a more affordable card for people so they can, you know, work with ray tracing and DLSS because, you know, some people may be stuck on 1050s may not be able to get their hands on it but you know why can't they solve the issue of getting more cards for you know the 3060 series and up rather than just going out and putting it in the 3050 i think this is just another card that people aren't going to be able to get their hands on and it's just going to be frustrating for a lot of people because you know people are, are stuck with their 1070s 1060s 1050s and these modern games that are coming out are unplayable for them they just aren't able to play these games they're not able to you know just the performance they want to out of these cards because you know they're old now they've been cards have been out for you know five six years at this point and and they're just people are unable to get these new cards so nvidia is claiming that these cards are going to give a significant improvement over the 1050 series which no surprise that's going to be the case you know they're comparing it to the 1650 the 1050 the 1050 ti i mean it should give more performance obviously and be able to ray trace at those cards but realistically who's going to be able to get these cards not gamers these cards unless they're limited even on founders edition cards with low hash rate then no one's gonna be able to get these cards. They're just gonna be sucked up by bots. You know, these cards are such a hot demand item right now that people are basically unable to get their hands on these cards because scalpers know that there's a high demand for them. And the supply is way too low with how the supply chain issues are. So it's just weird to me. You know, I understand why they're doing it because it's gonna line their pockets with more money and they're just a greedy corporation and we understand that. But at the end of the day, I, I can't understand the logic and thinking that they have behind coming out with a 3050 Ti. In my mind, it's just stupid. And you know, a lot of other YouTubers, tech YouTubers are gonna come out and say, Say, this is just a terrible idea people aren't going to be able to get their hands on this card and they're just going to be people are just going to be frustrated because they're unable to get these cards you know maybe supply will increase this year maybe more cards will be made but i know they said that for 2022 the whole chip shortage is going to continue pretty deep into it so who knows when you actually will be able to get a hold of these cards you know these aib partners that are creating cards such as you know evga asus zotac msi like all these cards are going to be way too expensive they're going to be two to three hundred dollars over what the original msrp is going to be just like how the 30 series 3080s 3090s are you know it's just it's frustrating to see that these cards are being told for 250 when we know people are not gonna be able to get them for that price i understand this is kind of a ranty video but it's frustrating seeing the video be so blind to what people actually want people just want to be able to get their hands on 3060s and above but they're not increasing supply they're just going to come out with another graphics card that's just going to get sucked up by scalpers we'll see what other things come out of ces you know in terms of nvidia and also amd and intel but i'm not too optimistic with graphics cards unfortunately with how frustrating the market it's been i know i was very lucky to find a 38 ti when i did and luckily i got it for when the for the prices even went up even higher but it's just unfortunate for those who want to get graphics cards and can't it's just it's mind-boggling to me so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for the ranty video but if you do like it make sure you like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later bye